Welcome back for another video. Today's video will take place back in San Diego by the request from a subscriber. The Southeast Locos Gang of San Diego. The Southeast Locos Gang started in the early 1970s, originating in Southeast San Diego in the Lincoln Park, Valencia Park community in Southern California. The Locos fall under the Serenio card. In the late 1980s, ever since then, they became prosecuted by SDPD and FBI officials due to the numerous murders in the early 1990s. In 1993, eight members were found guilty of nine first and second degree murders in the city of El Cajon and Chula Vista, all in one year alone. The gang consisted of an estimated 300 members when the locals first started, and today there's about 160 members with more than half behind bars due to their violent gang lifestyle and homicidal tendencies, including large manhunts for individual fugitives. Some of Southeast Loco's enemies are East San Diego, Linda Vista, Shelltown, National City, Woptown, Mountain View Locos, and Santo, and of course, Norteños. Southeast Locos has new homies from the block, such as the new generation of 45th, 49th, and 50th block. Margarita went to the store with their friend Janet to buy an item for Margarita's mother, Catalina Martinez. Jeanette's friend, Ernestina, known as Munchies, joined them. On the way, Blackie and Hits, two 19 to 20-year-old women, approached them. Hits, who did not get along with Munchies, confronted the girls and accused them of disgusting the local Southeast Locals gang. Although Margarita and Jeanette were not gang members, Jeanette's friends were. Hits punched Munchies, leading to a fight among the five girls. Martinez's housekeeper intervened and pushed the girls apart. Hits and Blackie ran away. Margarita, Jeanette, and Munchies had been winning the fight. Margarita, Jeanette, and Munchies returned to Martinez's gated apartment home and told her what happened, after which Munchies left. About an hour later, a neighbor knocked on the door and told them one of the girls who participated in the fight was looking through Martinez's window. Martinez, Margarita, and Jeanette went outside to see who the girl was. Martinez's two younger children followed them. Blackie and Hits were in the street yelling insults, gang names, and challenges for Margarita and Jeanette to fight. Margarita and Jeanette screamed back at them. Within a few minutes, Suarez and another man drove up to the apartment building and got out of their cars. Suarez, known as Grifo, was short, heavy say, and wore a black and white flannel shirt. His head was shaved and he also had a gang tattoo covering the back of it. He also had gang tattoos on the back of his hands. Martinez, Margarita, and Jeanette recognized him from the neighborhood. The other man, known as Flacco, was tall, skinny and wore a football team jersey along with blackie and hitch the two men followed a tenant through the building security gate martinez ordered them out of the building and threatened to call the police suarez yelled southeast locos and other gang references he said he was going to shoot up their home because of their encounter with his homegirl suarez then put his hand in his pants toward his buckle and began to pull his hand out as if he was getting a gun out of his waistband as martinez turned to screen for the children to run Suarez raised his arm in front of his body and pointed up towards where Martinez, Margarita, and Jeanette were standing. There was a bright orange muzzle flash from the location of Suarez's hand and the sound of a gunshot. The flash obscured Suarez's face. After seeing the flash, Martinez turned to leave and heard three more shots while moving away. Margarita saw two flashes and heard two gunshots. When she turned to run, she heard two more gunshots. After the fourth gunshot, a neighbor opened her door and let Martinez and her children in. Suarez and Flacco ran to the cars and drove away. At some point during the incident, Janet saw a gun in Suarez's hand and Margarita saw a gun in Flacco's hand. A neighbor watched the confrontation from his doorway. He saw a heavy set man with a tattoo on the back of his shaved head pull out a gun and shoot three to four times at Martinez, following her as she was trying to get away. A man who lived across the street from the apartment building heard the commotion and noticed two men in their mid to late 20s with shaved heads in front of the building. One wore a gray and black flannel shirt and the other wore a football jersey. The man in the football jersey pulled out a gun, 
shot four times at the apartment building, and then both men ran away. Police officers recovered four 9mm casings. They also found four bullet holes on the second floor of the apartment building. One was in front of a metal bar where Martinez had been standing. One was where Margarita had been standing. One was in front of an apartment. And one was in the lower window close to Martinez's apartment. Martinez and Margarita each identified Suarez as the shooter from photograph lineup shown to them. Janet was not able to identify anyone from the photographic lineup shown to her. Shortly after the shooting before the photograph lineups, Martinez, Margarita, and Janet viewed the Southeast Locals game page on a social network website and saw photographs of Suarez, Flacco, Blackie, and Hits. Jorge Luis Suarez was convicted of three counts of willful, deliberate, premeditated attempted murder and was sentenced to seven years to life for the first count of attempted murder plus 20 years for the firearm enhancement. On August 27, 2007, Anthony Zendayas and other Southeast Locos gang members were looking for an enemy when they spotted 14-year-old Javier Quiroz, who was chased and killed by Southeast Locos in City Heights. April that following year, Anthony Zendaya shot and killed a gang associate outside a City Heights market on April 19, 2008. After his arrest in May 2009, Zendayas told the police he thought he'd seen Javier at the beach earlier that fateful day. But Javier's family said, he played soccer, the hung out at a family pool all day. Anthony Zendayas received 44 years to life for both murders.